Well, good morning, evening, and afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Zelda Speedruns. We have another Wind Waker Randomizer, the Challenge Cup Quarterfinals. Today is match between Montgol and Advocate. I'm going to turn it on over to our wonderful commentators today. We have TB Pixel and Jamie. Welcome, you two. How are you doing today? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hello, doing very well. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well, too. Hope everyone's having a great day. Mm hmm. This is a very exciting race. Avil and Monkle are both very competent runners, so I'm really mm -hmm. interested to see how this goes. Uh, they have uh, aligned their names to be self care. Um, so, everyone, make sure you are drinking water, make sure you are taking care of yourself. Yes, this is uh, very much a taking care, hydrate percent. Got about 10 seconds here. Water and med check. Water and med check. And we are <laughs> off. We are off. Okay. Not sure. Started oh, that's a, a fairy. I, I a can't southern remember which... fairy? That I looks like southern fairy because I think I saw ice, um, ice ring in the background. Mm. Monko rocking the usual skin. Uh, FF, Wind Temple, and Tot G, was that? No. I got that wrong. Vin Woods. Okay. So the usual start. Uh, generally speaking, start of all of these runs, if you haven't seen Randomizer in Season 4 settings, we always generally just go to Windfall unless we start on an island with Random Start that happens to have something we can check really quick. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just because the check density kind of goes well for us. Um, so we're going to see some consistency here, and then after that we'll see where the routes diverge. Maggie giving us her love. Oh, yes. And I'm sure Crystal's watching, and oh. she's very excited. We have Wind Temple. We already have a ridiculously healthy start. Four hearts after two checks. Not a bad dungeon light up. FF is really quick. FW is very, very quick. And um, the only thing that might take a while is Wind Temple, but hopefully... This seed might lead to a go mode for that. Yeah, Wind Temple, I find, is also, like, definitely the faster of the two temples. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know I love me some ET, though. <laughs> All right, teach and taught. Ooh, Ooh, a bow! That is always interesting, because there's a lot you can do with that. <laughs> the look on Mongol's face. <laughs> Just lit up when he got that bow from Todd. Um, so we might be seeing an early DRI. Well, not early, but you know what I mean. Very true. Nice side hops by Advo and Mont. A lot of people do like to consider uh, outset after windfall, um, just because of check density, but it always depends on what you get, and bow opens up a lot around DRI. Well, NFS, um after this because that's just standard yes. you go windfall and then nfs um and then they might hit up crescent um i know that some runners do like to wait on crescents to see uh, especially if they get a boat early to see if they get fire and ice but we will see what they choose to do baby rage seed baby seed No grinding for money, early bow. That's, yeah, that's always really, really good. Yeah, I know, Crystal. It's almost like he didn't roll it. <laughs> I mean, there is Wind Temple, so Crystal could have rolled it. That's in true. Spirit. It's technically within a Crystal Seed. Try for Shard. Mont, 
I guess forgetting that he got 50 rupees. Uh, or, you know, you bet up muscle memory, to be fair. Is this what it's like getting items early? Yes, Claire, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Claire. That was, that was rough yesterday for Claire. Yeah. Um, and Jay. Heading to Still NFI. I don't know what you're talking about, Claire. The bow was early. Jay. Jay, please. Jay, I think you misspelled Kappa. Yeah. Jay had an item. Uh. <sighs> so, yeah, both of our runners going straight to uh, the very sub. You're just not really in this quadrant otherwise. So it's really mm -hmm. the best time to do after windfall. Yeah, it's very out of the way. If you haven't seen a Wind Waker randomizer before, what you'll see Monko doing now and Avo is just doing is their sail pumping. So they are basically closing and opening the sail as fast as possible, and it forces a little boost to your speed every time you do it up, uh, if you kind of do it with the right rhythm. Nice so rope skip by Advo. Landing yeah, on that platform always feels really nice. Yeah. Usually the best I can get is just a wedge grab. Tingle statue. Early tingle Are we gonna have a sphere one tingle again? Let's go. Um, you mean a dead tingle? Yeah. When does tingle ever have something useful though? Good point. Okay, let's see where Avo goes from here. Clearly Nothing required. Now. Fair enough, fair enough. Some people like to leave mother and child until they get a bottle, but other people just choose to head there right away and look for their uh, save grandma fairies inside the dungeons. Also, we're... Oh, he's oh! just stored it. He's storing it so that he can quip out. Uh, there's a cyclos nearby. And if you just kind of ESS into the wall here, um, you can walk over to this platform and then void on the skull and then just sail right over to... Sail right over mm -hmm. to cyclos. And um, Mont going for too. a DRI. Let's see what Beetle has. Mm -hmm. Beetle has a song. Earth God's lyric, so... A useless song. Thanks, Beetle. Completely worthless. Yeah. That place getting a boat... Fun. Yeah, getting a boat early like that, um, I can see why Advo was going for the early by close. Yeah, for sure. Like, I would consider that, too. But I, I do have to say, Advo got that uh, storage really clean. Like, that storage spot is hard and got it, like, what, first or second time? Yeah, I didn't even realize he was getting storage. That's how fast it was. It was snappy. Gonna find out what's that Wind Temple Shrine. Or Wind Temple Shrine, sorry. Wind Shrine. Skull Necklace. Monty. The Void Out was Go also mode. You're right. It's deceptively difficult because it's so easy to just, like, jump off. Completely right, Crystal. Uh, storage is a glitch in Wind Waker SD where if you pull out your... Or, I guess there's a couple ways you can get it. But the most common way that you'll see the runners do it is that you can do a Wind Waker dive. Which is where you pull out, or you, you use your Wind Waker when it's in your hand as you're falling... I think three frames before you finish getting up. And then as you're following on the third frame before you hit the ground, you cancel it with B. And what you do is you store the next cuts. That is dry storage, you are correct. There are multiple different kinds of storage. Um, so you can see Mont getting storage here right now. Um, so you'll store, I think it can be text or like opening chests or cutscenes. Like you can store a bunch of things with storage. And chests are particularly useful because Link's collision model changes when you open a chest to be a point. Uh, and it lets you do some really interesting clips. Very true. You can uh, get some other interesting ones. There's a couple of different ways that we go for storage throughout the run. Um, and I'll... in this seed, we will likely see um, Helmarok storage that allows you to move during the cutscene of when uh, Helmrock is flying up. 
And so you will be able to go down to the bottom and then Helmarok will fly down there and it you'll see when we get there, it is very, very easy to fight Helmarok. True. Uh, also, Advo going for flight control sub. This is something I personally like to do if I get um, a bow super early. Yeah, early bow is, is pretty nice to go for. This sub can be deceptively difficult too, because you often have to free aim while there are, especially in the third phase when mini blends are around you. And free aim in this game is awkward, but Advo handled that very cleanly. Yeah, Advo, that was so clean. So we can see Mont, by the way, this is kind of the, kind of the sort of silliness you can do with chest storage, is Mont able to just kind of climb up that wall and uh, go ahead and get fly across platforms chests early. Double magic. Always nice to have that early, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yes, you will see storage a lot um, by these runners. Yeah, it, it gives us so much time that we can save. Looks like we're seeing Mont also go now to FCP. Yes, yeah, storage is also... <laughs> storage is a blessing and a curse. Because if you store an item by opening a chest, um, that item is not in your inventory until the chest unloads. So that would be fading into darkness, like when in FW, when you are entering the mini boss room, voiding out um, by just like... falling or by um or by like entering a different quadrant of the map and if you don't unload the chest and you save and quit that item goes to the link that is on the title screen and you will not get the item for your save file <laughs> and that item is gone i consider it to be kind of a rite of passage to delete a required item at least once everyone does it and then you never forget. You never forget the pain of just like hard locking yourself out of a run. Or in, in my case, I think I soft locked myself and just didn't know what to do. And then Jay was like, oh, you could have done this. And I was like, oh, Jay, you scare me sometimes. Um, if it makes you feel any better, in like the run right before that, I was uh, running with you. I did the exact same thing and deleted a small key. Mm. It happens. It's very scary, but it happens. Montgol doing the fun strat. Oh yes, Montgol is uh, currently vibing. Um, yeah, welcome Mont to the vibe sub. Yeah. What do you think Mont is thinking right now? I usually try to think about my route when I get to the sub if I need to wait it out. Because you just have a minute to kill. Uh, once you kill the mini one in the first mini one, it's just the timer starts. Oh, I go on TikTok while I'm in the sub. <laughs> you go on TikTok. <laughs> I want TikTok while, while I'm in this sub. You're not thinking about where you're going to go next? No. That would Absolutely be smart. Mad. Absolutely mad. Um. Mont got delivery back from DRHS? I didn't see that. Why would you think in a rando? Exactly. <laughs> Listen, it's a full minute. That's enough time to watch like two TikToks. There is a uh, there is something to be said for not thinking too hard in a rando. I burned a few times by trying to figure out where the logic is leading me, and it's just nowhere. I stressed out about where to go next, and Mom was just like, "I checked TikTok." Listen, I was not um, obsessed with TikTok until like last December, November, when all of because uh, I recently started college. And all of my friends are like, follow my TikTok. And I'm like, you know what? Fine. If it'll get you to shut up about it, then yes. And then all of a sudden I'm up till 5 a.m. Um, I have finally reached the Zelda side of TikTok on my For You page, though. Very interesting. Looks like we're... Okay, where is Mott going right now? Paw print. Palm print is always uh, quite nice to try and get Not to. Not a uh, bad idea. Um, yeah. 
people like to, if you can, uh, get Ooh, a Ooh, mirror shield. Out, especially, like, a single dip paw print is such a delight, but it's so rare because you need either leaf and grapple, or you need, like, grapple and power bracelets or bombs. I've kind of accepted paw print as a double dip. I have too. I think there's too high of a chance for me, um, at least too high of a risk that there could be something good in the checks that you can get. Um, there is a few times where it is a triple dip, unfortunately, but... I try to avoid that as much as possible. Ferraris? Ferraris? Uh, Ferraris is the one that opens up mail, right? Yes. So we do potentially have something out of that. And then you'll see Mont go up ahead. You can just sidle against this wall and basically walk into the rock and, and jump off. Like it's super easy to skip. Although getting the sidle is hard. I don't know why, it's just so difficult. Mm, once you know the oh, it's once you know the spot, it's just a matter of getting it consistent. And then there's Yeah. Oh, Mont, Mont just opting to do it later, I guess. Yeah, stupid wall. Is that a Morth? I have. That is indeed a Bernard. <laughs> is that a gymnast a... emote? It is indeed. I really need to sub to gymnast. I missed out on where Avo is heading. Oh my god, it's not letting me close out. Wait. Oh, Avo's going to 6 I think, yeah? Ferrari's mail giving wallet. That is, is hilarious. You get a check that gives you mail that gives you a check to give mail. Alright, I have to refresh my thing real fast. Sorry. All good. Oh, Advo, that... Advo picked up uh, the Mobwin Spear there. And this is generally the fastest way to do this sub. But mainly it's because you can do this strat here where if you turn like kind of perfectly 180 degrees or maybe a little off of it you can swing and get two hits on the moblin at once which is really fast these moblins also oh, be... mont did get a shard on to get a shard this stuff can be deceptively difficult because of all of the barrels around and like trying to pick up the moblin spear before it punches you it's a real pain. Power, Power bracelet. bracelet is huge find. That opens up so much. Onion rings locking unlocks. I don't remember the first time somebody called them onion rings, but I remember I got power bracelets in Wind Temple on my next seed, and that was just the funniest thing to me because everyone likes to call Makar an onion. Makari is kind of onion. Now seeing Mont do Cyclos. It's gonna get that. I think it was double magic. Can I may go out and get some onion rings after this. Sounds nice. Meanwhile, Advo uh, heading over to five star. Some people like to leave five star for a little bit. Um, just because it's like really far, five star sub is really far in the corner of the map. It's just annoying to go to. But I'm of the camp that I've been burned by five star having like a leaf or something like that too many mm -hmm. times. So I yep. just go there first time. I try to route five star in um, when I'm about to do Cliff Platt to Bird's Peak. Mm. That being said, I hate this sub, so I tend to leave it. <laughs> I don't mind this sub so much. But I've also I've spent enough time practicing subs without uh, a sword that I've gotten very comfortable with it. That some of them can be really painful, though. See, that's the difference between you and me. You practice, I watch TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I truly am a I've Gen Z college girl. <laughs> Avil handling that very cleanly, by the way, uh, shooting one of the Bokoblins and then almost immediately, like, getting surrounded me. Okay. What? Oh my god, and it's bombs, too. Avil getting some very good early checks here. 
That is so helpful. Bombs early is absolutely huge. There are so many great things you can do with bombs and temples. So the two most annoying Sphere Zero subs had power bracelets and bombs. There's a reason I check them. Come on, getting six eye. So it looks like I would imagine. Uh, yeah, Avo's gonna head over to. I forget. Is this Cliff Platt? Yes. Okay. Don't always know the island names. Cliff Platt to Bird's Peak, um, over to Bomb Island. Though that that like little route, I've practiced the most. So. Bomb's not locked behind Beto Mayo. So. I know! What a shock! Also, now that we do have those power bracelets and bombs, we might see Advo going to paw print. And Deku Leaf on uh, Bomb Mail. Oh my goodness! Leaf! This is a stack seerly. Teal, you rolled a banger! You actually Teal. rolled a banger! Baby seed. First try storage by Advo. There's time for swords to be in bad spots. There is time for swords to be in bad spots, absolutely. Um, now I know some runners do choose to, um... Leave Cliff Platt to Bird's Peak until they get a jump slash item. We'll see what Advo decides to do here. You can leave it to get a jump slash item, but because Advo has Leaf, I'm inclined to believe that he'll go there because you can also just use Leaf and it's very easy. Wait, you can? Yeah, if you if you have the wind facing the right way, which you can swift sail, uh, you can basically just jump Leaf and then be good. I'm gonna need a walk. Watch this then, I've never heard of that. It's possible Advil might also just go for roll clip. It's a little harder, but I've seen uh, a couple people when you get leaf here, just kind of leaf across. So we store rupees. Don't know what we stored on the bottom yet. It's faster than the jump slash. Good to know, good to know. Is it faster than shot? That's news to me. I guess it makes sense because you don't have to grab ledge. I tend to wait until I have a jump slash item or a grapple hook. Yep. But I, I didn't even know Leaf was a. What? Ah, uh, this isn't quite right, though. Didn't quite make it. There's a he little more height you need. Boom. There you go. My mind is blown right now. Very, very nice. Uh, boomerang and rupees in Cliff Plat. Thank you, Gold. Boomerang will be helpful for for Forbidden Woods. Yeah, Boomerang that does save some time there. That is a good shot. Although the runners did, uh... Well, I guess Mont hasn't yet, but uh, Advil got bombs already, so... Even if we didn't have Boomerang, we could probably do most of FW. Out of logic, yes. Out of logic. But doing a dungeon out of logic is usually fine. Especially FW, because FW normally has a lot. I mean, that sounds like selection bias to me. Uh, Warping to Windfall. Where is Mont? Oh, Mont's probably going paw print then? Has Mont not been paw print? No, Mont went Mont paw print. Mont went paw print and then he left because he couldn't get the sidle. Um, but I think that they might be running out of checks. No, because Mont hasn't been through the uh, cycle that Advil is doing around Forest Haven right now. Um, I'm not sure then. We're also seeing Claire's favorite island right now, Bomb Island. Oh, Mont got onion rings. That's why. He's getting left and right boulder. True, we can see right boulder now. But Claire, I thought Fire Mountain was your favorite. <laughs> Bomb Island is one of those islands that's, that's deceptively challenging. Mainly, I find the only thing that's... Ooh, 
spawn in. The only thing that's really difficult about Bomb Island for me at this point is the Magtiles just like don't cooperate all the time. Bomb Island either loves you or Bomb Island hates you. <laughs> um, Advo handling this very well though. We did get um, more keys. Yes, just a shard and a Joy Pendant, everyone. Cheese and onion rings. Oh yeah, Joy. Um, that uh, that Joy Pendant is, is in honor of Nurse Joy. Hello, we are now in the Pokemon universe. Dead Bomb Island. Sorry, Claire. Oh, we still have the sub. Just a shard, that's like, required. I'm still, I had, I had a seed I rolled a while back where I wanted to wait to do Bomb Island until I could do both parts of it. But Bomb Island sub had power bracelets and Bomb Island had bombs. I was uh, in a race against Advil, was it not? That might, yeah, actually, I think that was in a race against Advil. So Advil would remember that. Mont deciding not to go for the roll clip there. Um, and when it ha when it comes to Triforce pieces, getting them in the early game is always not the best feeling because you'd rather have other progression items, even though, yes, they are required. For sure. Boko Baba Seed. Uh, First Tuba. Tan yeah, Tanjo. Oh no, Tantra's favorite item is a uh, Spoilus Bag. Okay. Yep. Alright, we will see what Underlink's house has. And Advo continuing along. Going, Going to Great, Great Fish. There is, yeah, a couple quick checks here between Great Fish, Iowit, and uh. Ooh! Grapple Hook! Grandma had a grapple this whole time. That is a very nice item to find. Although, I I'd imagine that this hurts a little bit for Monkle, because that means that Sphere Zero could have been a full clear of paw print, and instead yeah. Monkle's going to go there three times. A oh, very clean Japan cave clip. So if you, um, if you climb up onto a ledge and you're like kind of clipping to the wall, there is one frame where you can press the roll button and hold an angle and essentially clip the wall. It is surprisingly difficult. It's easy to get a lot of things wrong. Um, and you can do a bunch of things that are wrong with Jabung Clip in particular. A lot of people struggle with it. But first try is, is very clean, very well played. All right, we'll see what Islet has. I think I missed what was on Great Fish. A uh, piece of heart. Oh, OK. Nothing important, then. Um, I definitely think that Advo has a lot more open to them right now, just because of the those leaf and bombs. Advo going for a leaf across strats. I'm surprised. Normally I just equip bombs. Yeah, because if you have bombs for Iowit from Great Fish, it's pretty fast. The leaf across is faster, it's just also harder. You can kind of leaf pump over the uh over the little boat. I don't know what they're called now that I think about it. I don't know either. Oh, cannon boat. Is this even rando? I... You know what? If you think about it, life is just a big randomizer. Actually, I was watching an interesting video the other day where someone was talking about how life is probably very deterministic. But... We're getting into philosophy at that point, and I don't think that's my specialty. I play Wind Waker. Wait, Greyfish is a piece of heart in vanilla? I, I had no idea. It makes sense, though, because Great Fish is like, you don't, in Vanilla, you don't like go to Great Fish to get that item for any reason. The only thing Great Fish is good for in Vanilla is triggering Endless Night. True. Um, Advo, um, going to Outset, he's going to get his grapple, and he has not been to Pauperin yet. 
Yeah, Avo's gonna get a full queer pod print. That it's the best feeling, I, I or one of the best feelings in the entire game, I think. And then Mont getting a cliff flat done. Mm -hmm. We know that very clean. These are not the best items, but it's a good cycle. Mont also Ooh, going for a right side climb strat. You can climb up this in a couple of different ways. Uh, people all have their preference. I'm personally a, a middle kind of person, but uh, some people like left side, which is kind of the most most spooky, and then right side. Left is side is definitely thing. the most dangerous. It's also, I think, the fastest, though. Yes. Um, right side is the slowest, um, and middle is just in the middle. Also, congrats on your grapple hook, Advo. Mm -hmm. Um, I personally like right side because I'm a lot more consistent with it. I like middle because I just kind of hit B and hold forward. Um, it's always great that there's multiple ways to do a trick. Um, mm -hmm. simply because, um, ooh, oh, great clip, Adam. just like... Again, like much harder than it looks. I've spent a lot of time grinding that to get it within even like a couple tries. So to get it for both our runners to get it first try, very clean. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, it's very nice that there's multiple ways to do a trick and to get around um, certain islands and items um, because what one person is comfortable with, the other person might not be. And it's just a matter of perspective hmm. i think we might see advil go do diamond step early here yes we will Ooh. oh no actually Mont it's going golf Advo's going golf first which fair enough you have you have leaf like very very easy now Avo does like to be a little cheater at, at golf so Gonna have to add a few strokes to his final score, but. Cheating in rando? Monka S. Yeah, capital D colon. If you don't cheat at golf, I'm sorry, we can't be friends. Oh, I guess we're not friends anymore then because I go for a uh, par three. Yeah, well, it, that's slow. Yeah, but uh, I don't get DQ'd. Guess what? If if there <laughs> there's Damn hurricane golf. spin, normally I don't grab it because I think hurricane spin is useless. Yeah, but it's funny. Yeah, but it's also it's a time loss. You tell me you also don't take pictures of Ganon when you get Pictobox? I do not. Oh, okay then. I'm uh, getting storage. Wow. Okay, so you can get storage here. Um, and it makes it a little bit easier to do diamond step early. You don't have to worry about... Uh, well, I I've guess I don't know if it's easier. It's, it's, an, it's an alternative way to do diamond step early. Yeah. So one way you could do diamond step early. Oh, mirror shield. Uh, right. That was not very helpful. Mirror shield, um, where was my brain going? I, I went so far ahead that I forgot. Diamond step early, that was it. So one option to do diamond step early is there's a big octo, and if you time a sail jump correctly, you can jump right into the middle, and it'll put you on the island. And then you can kind of just wind wake or dive and climb back up. Um, but Avo getting chest storage here, and with this, you can kind of just jump on the island and climb in. So, I've never seen this before. It's another way to do it. But getting storage at uh, golf is pretty tricky. It's one of the trickier spots, I find. Yeah, so you can see, you basically just kind of jump right in. And then uh, if you haven't seen someone get up into Diamond Step or uh, Forest Haven like this before. 
Um, basically, Wind Waker has an interesting property in the ocean or water where Link is swimming, where um, the game wants to put, I guess not always saying just water, but the game wants to put Link at the top of the water, wherever that is. And so if you clip under and swim underneath a point where there's water above you, the game will just put Link there. Um, and we can abuse that to do interesting things like this. Very clean, Advo. Yeah, this is always a, a very cool location to see done uh, early. Especially without a sword, I've just considered. Man this Melody. Place, this place gets a lot easier with a jump flash item. Command is required. So that is a good find. Another and another Tango statue. Tango statue. Tingle is not all spear zero. It's officially possible the ankle has something. You are correct. Hookshot cannot be in Wind Temple now. Uh, oh, when did... Yeah, I was going to say, Ghost Ship Chart must have been stored at Gulf. Um, oh, this timing works out so well. So, Evo, Evo stored Ghost Ship Chart at Gulf and then was able to just song a passing and Ghost, Ghost Ship is here at DSC. I think it's second night it's here. Um, so that's very nice. Let's see if he can get the leaf pumps. Indeed. Very clean. And unfortunately, it's a treasure shirt. Come on, it's going back to finish up paw prints. It is nice to get out of the way. Treasure chart 24, we would show. Yes, um... Ghost Ship is definitely my least favorite check. If you have Leaf, you can basically jump any sub except, I think, Bomb Island sub, because that one requires... Oh, no, sorry, Bomb Island and Headstone. Uh, because those ones actually require you to defeat the enemies. Um, on average, Bruno, these runs will take anywhere between two to three hours. Um, we have some super cracked runners who um, have done them in like an hour and 35 minutes sometimes. Um, it all just depends on your dungeon layout. Uh, really? Dun dungeon layout and items. Like the fact that they've gotten grapple, leaf, bow, boomerang... Uh, boomerang mainly just helps with FW. It's not required though. Bombs, like lots of lots of items that's gonna speed up their clears, especially of the dungeons in particular. And Avo getting that very satisfying full clear of uh, paw print in one go. Still no swords. We have seen much longer without swords. It is definitely... There's a couple of times I've seen, like, an hour and ten, or an hour and twenty go by and no swords, and then you mm -hmm. get, like, four of them back to back. Swords are overrated, I agree. This is why we need to do some swordless runs. Will you be joining us, Crystal? <laughs> Skello all having a useless item. It's so rare that Scale of the Wall has something, but it's always the time you kind of just, like, give up on it that it does. Oh, I agree, Bruno. Um, seeing these tricks by these fantastic runners, because um, everyone in Challenger Cup and everyone in the Top 24 tourney, they are so cracked. It is unbelievable. I'm really? a fairly new player. I average uh, almost sub-3 to, like, 3.5-hour times right now. And... It is just absurd to me how much these people can just, like, consistently get tricks. I 
enough practice, you, you get there. This sub can be really painful without a sword, I won't admit. If you get stormed by the Bokoblins, it's, it's oof. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's one of the beautiful things about the whole Challenger Cup, is getting to see all of these incredible runners competing, and all of them have played so much of Wind Waker, of Randomizer, that you see some really interesting tricks in uh, running. Um, so they get the item from chest storage when the chest unloads, and that would be changing quadrants, voiding out, or fading into blackness, um, like um, in um, Urban Woods, when they go into the mini boss room, that completely fades to black and then sends you in the room. Mm -hmm. That's right. As long as you just don't save and quit. Yeah, save and quit with the chest storage is the big spook. Looks like we're about to see Advo do FW, which makes a lot of sense. You can do FW pretty fast with this. This setup of items. Um, yes, you will see storage three or four times in, um, in Forbidden Woods. It comes up a couple times, yeah, for sure. You are about to see it just now, and you will see how easy this room becomes. Also, Breathe, if you are interested in Windmaker Randomizer and Runs, we have the Little Community Discord. Um, lots of friendly people. Plenty of people are always happy to teach, happy to support, um, happy to help you get set up. It's Very clean, Advo. Yeah, that was extremely clean by Advo, actually. Almost missed it. It was so fast. If FW doesn't have a sword, I will be very surprised. I... it's not really required. Because even logically, you can beat, um, Kaui Deimos with, like, any combination of the own type. You could beat him with just Boomerang. It's mm -hmm. not fun. I would imagine we'll probably see Advil go for bomb kill strats. Yeah. You play only to the past rando at the moment? Okay, yeah, so we have our um, Wind Waker Rando Discord, and then we have our Racing Discord. Um, and we do casual races all the time at 3 a.m., at 3 p.m. <laughs> Just as some examples. Um... Advo is uh, one that we joke around a lot with because oftentimes if you message, uh, Advo will be up for it. And. I've always in Germany time zone, I think. Yes. So it is there's been a few times where I've been like, hey, wanna anyone wanna do a race? And I was like, I'm down, and it's like 4 a.m. <laughs> there will probably be one after this race. Yeah, there probably will be a run back after this race. Uh I think that there there should be, because this is game one. And I'm pretty sure we're doing best of three. Yeah, and he should be asleep by then. That's true. One of Crystal's jobs is to tell Advil to go to sleep. Uh, we made sure to remind her in pre-game chat, so Advil has uh, his good luck charm. He's been told <laughs> to go to bed. Advil and A. Advil and A. Oh, so I think Advo is about to do small key skip. Yep. Yep. So FW is a really fun dungeon, I think, to watch because you just clip through the whole thing so quickly. Self-care percent is pretty pog. I agree. Everyone remember self-care percent? Hydrate. Have a, have a drink of water if you haven't already. Hydrate or dehydrate. He does speed run sleep. So you can... Uh, rem percent, let's go. Yeah. So I don't think we've touched on it enough. Um, but basically, Advil used chest storage a couple times in the dungeon so far. Um, one of them is chest storage that lets you skip a small key in that main room and basically go backwards through um, FW's top sort of area. 
and now Advil is going to go into mini boss. This is going to be one of those load zones, so storage will go away. Um, and then, yeah, we'll... I don't think Advil will get storage again. Well, he, he could. He might. Ooh, mod. Just barely missing that. How that did Jim a... versus Elijah go? Are we allowed to say that? Has enough time passed? I Yeah, I'm not sure if we're allowed to talk about that. We try not to spoil her in chat. Um, so I'm going to leave that up to mods. Dungeon map. Never lucky. I mean, I think the rule is 24 hours after, but... I, I don't know though. I I would rather uh I'd rather yeah. wait for confirmation before talking about it. <laughs> yeah, so we can see Mon <laughs> just had a real Monka S face. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that pixel. I just barely missed it. This is a bit of a Monka S moment. So we can see uh yeah, I'm not going to get storage here. You don't need it. Uh, Cabana, Cabana D. D. Okay. So technically we could do an early Cabana at this point. Um, but most of the mm, time... We don't have hookshot. You do not require hookshot to do Cabana. It's just slower. Oh, they have delivery bag. Never mind. Yeah. I can imagine it was it was quite painful to get Leaf in, in Bondor email. Uh we will definitely uh ask afterwards. Uh what did Advo just get? Uh oh I just missed it. I was watching Mont. Yeah, me too. Treasure, Treasure chart. chart? Oh, okay. Awesome. So worthless. Uh this room is interesting because the check on the right is, like, one of the freest tricks in the game, I feel like. Um, so this chest you just open up. The chest on the right, you don't have to go through the vine maze. You can just sort of uh, iframe through it like that. And it's not really that precise. It's, it's very nice. Well, there's a small key. Yep. He had a larger reaction to his third piece of cheese. <laughs> he really did. I mean, when you get cheese and onion rings, I also have a pretty large reaction to that. I wonder if any place around here sells onion rings. <laughs> Very possible. Yeah, if you don't follow either of these runners, highly recommend it. They're both very skilled. Uh, love to see them compete. Advil also, thank you for our lovely trackers. Mm hmm. Oh, hi, commentators. That's me. Yeah, I was going to say that's not trackers. Uh, yeah, Panda, Gold Quiver. Thank you, thank you. You actually ordered onion rings after the joke was made, and you didn't share? Come on, share with the class. So, I do like this uh, sort of order that Advo is going in. Advo checked moth, double moth room before going to basement. And I think that the hope is generally that you, if you only have the checks in basement, you may be able to skip something. It kind of depends on what dungeon items are left. So you need a dungeon item left to be able to skip. Ooh. Skull hammer. Ooh. We could do but... everything but Phantom Ganon in Forbidden Woods now. Or not Forbidden Woods. For Sacred was... Fortress. I was about to be very confused, yes. Um, yeah, and I think that we're only... Um... Oh no, we do need we need Hookshot and we need Iron Boots before we can... Okay. ...do Wind Temple. We will be seeing Kamana coming up. <laughs> to be fair, we can't do Phantom Ganon in FW either. Claire is 100% correct. Phantom Ganon wrong move to FW. Listen, 
Forbidden Fortress, Forsaken Woods, same thing. I've never seen bomb strats with the uh, mini boss. Like normally I would just opt to use a bow here. Yeah, me too. Forbidden, Forbidden Fortress? Yes. Phantom Cannon is actually in the ceiling of FW. Yeah, FW uh, is actually located below Forsaken Fortress, ge geographically. Um, I can't believe you didn't know that, Claire. You're like a top runner. So we are seeing uh, Advil now on the right. Um, you can kill Cavadomos with bomb throws. It can be a little precise, but with enough experience and timing. You can see our runner getting it very consistently. I think it takes four bombs. Four or five. It's four. And just like that, Kelly Damos is done. Bombs are a really quick way to kill Kelly Damos. I think the only way you can be quicker is if you have, um, like, Master Sword or Butter Knife with Grandma Stoop, and you can get, like, a quick spin kill. Um, how quickly does Fire Arrows kill Kelly Damos? I haven't looked, to be honest. I don't know. That's true, oh, forest, forest water, water is also a very quick kill on Cali Damos. Quick if you can get the shots. Yeah. Now I'm very tempted to start routing forest water into my FW randomizers for the meme. That sounds like a great time. But that would require having a bottle. It's not uncommon that you get a bottle early. Yeah, but our runners don't have one. That's true. Our runners couldn't have done it this time. And this is its own universe. There, There is nothing outside of this. That's very uh, dark way to look at it, but all right. Uh, oh, joy at the top of tree. Always a good time. So checking, uh, generally speaking, if you have FW in logic, it's pretty common you'll see runners check uh, Forest Haven, top of tree. and Advo, your after. wind's wrong. Oh, that, you're right. Oh, it looks Advo like Advo not noticed his wind. Okay. <laughs> Advo noticed. Advo noticed. Oh, that was very close to scary. I think Advo just saw the particle go by. And yeah. Then went, oh, no. True, we actually are uh, very close on, on shards. Yep, one more overworld shard. What's on islands? Shard. Of course, shard. Forest Haven dead. Just like Kelly Demos. <laughs> I'm I'm with you, Crystal. If I'm I'm perfectly fine with checking Forest Haven Island if I do dive to do it. But if I went into Forbidden Woods and come back. It completely slips my mind. Hookshot Hook on Orca Mail. Orca Mail. Big find. What do we need to get in a Wind Temple? Just boots, right? Just, just boots at this point. Otherwise, Wind Temple is completely clearable. And fast, too. Mm -hmm. Advo going to check um, Angular. Fair enough. It always sucks to find something on Angular, but if you can do both clears, I think that it's fine. So we're missing four swords, two bows, and a Triforce shard, and boots. And a, yeah, that's surprisingly fast so far. Like the seed is, uh, the seed has been quite kind, I think. And a bottle for grandma, yes. If Cowie Damos moves the wrong way, your pew 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 pews will miss miss miss. Yes, and, and big egg for then big big. Then I'll be sad sad sad. 
Oh, oh does Advo go for the compensation strat? No, he doesn't. Advo is going. Interesting. This is a uh, fast way that you can do Angular Cave. We see some people do. This is one of the two common strats. Hmm. Well, this is the they're... boomer strat for it. Oh, and no sword that so they can't see up here. You can actually still see up like that, I think. No, wait, no, you're right. You need to see up to, to aim. Never mind. I learned that the hard way when I spent like five minutes trying to see up and wondering why it wouldn't work. <laughs> I almost forgot. If you can do both players. Yes, I am the one who is wrong, Crystal. Oh, so I was watching Mont. What did uh, Advo get there? Uh, just like a feather. I'm pretty sure. Single statue. I could have been completely wrong. Maybe I was also watching Mont now that I think about it. Oh no, it looked like it was Nehru's. Was it a piece of heart? It wasn't anything important. This is why uh, I'm commentating and not tracking, because I'm incompetent, unlike our wonderful trackers. Yes, yes, thank you, trackers. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you, thank you, Panda Gold Quiver. There's a certain FW. On our way to Cabana. It's true, Cabana is totally open and very fast at this point. It is a requirement of comms to not pay attention. Pretty I agree. much, honestly. I'm not really here to provide anything valuable. Advo barely. Oh, there we go. Unlike our trackers or our runners. Yeah, that that uh, hookshot location is. It shouldn't be Monkey S, but it is. I also just noticed that Mont is out of arrows. That is probably why Mont was going for bomb strats on. The mini mm -hmm. box, and I just didn't realize it. So, one cool thing we can see from Mont here is uh, if you well place your boomerang's hit markers and then move around with it, you can get the boomerang to hit almost all, if not all of them, uh, all of the vines in one swing. It's really satisfying if you get it. So Cabana is completely in logic now since we found the hammer. True enough, yeah. We could find a bunch of things here. Iron boots could be here. So Cabana is interesting. Uh, there are these springs you can hit with the skull hammer. But the I think it's the hitbox for the skull hammer is so big that uh, you can actually just jump attack the wall and knock him down a pig. Also, nice Kali Demos kill with the skull hammer. Always good to see. I think it's a worthwhile. I get so excited mind. every time Advo opens a chest because we have Advo's audio on, and then I hear the rupee sound, and I just get so sad. <laughs> yeah. I do think I'll, uh, I'll set a reminder as well. It looks like Advil has a small lead, but these runners are actually incredibly close. Also, Fire and Ice in Cabana. Fire Ice Cabana is pretty pog. We could still get Vanilla Iron Boots. If you're worried we'll stop being an hour without sword. If Ice Ring has a sword, then... Ice Ring always yeah. has it's it's missing. I would say it is definitely more uncommon to not have a sword by this point than than common. For sure though. You find it hilarious the one thing we want in randomizers is vanilla items. The only thing you don't want is vanilla light arrows. He actually selected the swordless option. 
Vanilla Master Sword is also pretty bad, unless your name is Linkus, uh, then it's really great. Throw in a little bit of shade, I'm sorry. I hid the swords in non-shard dungeons. Also very yeah. unfortunate from Mont there. Oh yeah, I just missed that. I've done that a lot too though, is that if you yeah. get just a little too close to the water there, you just kind of fall. Also over in uh, Ice Ring, the fan, oh, there's a sword. Look sword. at that, there's a sword. Just One minute, an hour. one minute. Sorry, Huffa. Uh, yeah, in Ice Ring, that little fan that kind of blows, um, if you just roll with the right timing, you'll clip, you'll, you'll basically scoot right past it because you'll roll towards the fan and the fan will blow you away. It's surprisingly easy, I find. It look, it's one of the tricks that looks scarier than it is. Also, I'm not going for the alternative way to get over to um, Iwin Check. And in the meantime, Advo is going to Needlepoint. Still Baby Rage Seed. This seed has been quite kind to our runners. Like, the sword is probably the only thing that took a while, but they've gotten a lot of good stuff really fast. Oh, so Advo will be able to do Needle Rock without Bait Bag, given that we have found fire arrows, which is mm -hmm. always nice. It's probably why Advo wrote it in, honestly. Um, I've seen that before, actually. I think if you get fire and ice arrows, it's nice to get this out of the way because it's just so far. You don't want to have to come here last. It feels so bad. Bird being a butt. So yeah, if you fire a fire arrow at the uh, kind of like right angle there, you can just hit the switch, or I think technically you hit the bird and then the hitbox for the fire arrow hits the switch. Um, and yeah, you just activate the chest like that. People arrive, need a rock, very true. I know I'm personally one that likes to wait until I have fire arrows to come to Needle Rock uh, for that check. But this is kind of strange seeing as we haven't even found Bait Bag yet. This is a little strange. Oh! Oh, never speak mind. Of the devil. There you go. We have found Bait Bag. That is an extremely ugly Bait Bag location, yeah. I've had worse. <laughs> That's true, we can do Yeet the Pig. And there's another sword. Another sword! Didn't No swords for 59 minutes, and in two minutes, Advil has Master Sword. Absolutely wild. Going to FF now is a very good choice. Yeah, it makes complete sense. Once you get Master Sword, you can, at this point, do all of FF, because Phantom Ganon requires Master Sword. Um, we always hope to skip... Well, we usually have to skip uh, Phantom Ganon. It's a little slow, but... You don't want to come here without a Master Sword, otherwise. Edmo's movement is very clean and very precise. So Fire Mountain has Sword, too. I mean, if we're following the, the pattern of Fire and Ice Arrows, then... And then Last Sword's Master Sword Chamber. Model, always nice. Time to save Grandma. Oh, so Mont in um, Cabana. Yep. The rats in here are so mean. They're obnoxious. Very, very mean. Gramda. 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 <laughs> Ounsta. <laughs> get it? So I think uh, I've always to get storage here. Yeah. Yeah, getting storage here is. If you get it quickly, you can get storage and then just void on the chest and basically warp right back up, which is pretty fast compared to climbing the ladders. But that can be a, another tricky storage spot. So very nice to to get it on second try. 
It's a very quick drop. Is he checking upper jail chest? Tingle statue. Will Tingle have iron boots? Uh, I mean, we don't know if it's logical yet. Also, nah, there's gonna be one right here. Damn it. Compass. Uh, did we get map already? I forget. Uh, I don't... I, I think so, yeah. So if, uh, PG has something. Yeah, Quiver says PG has something, so... He stored map. Okay, okay. This kind of works out too, though, because I would imagine Advo is going to go for chest storage here. Mm hmm. PG is a fight that I really have to study because people can do it really, really fast when they know what they're doing. Uh, and I do not. Or keep saying PG. Places Phantom. you can, uh, you can stand to make it faster. Are indeed gonna store our way up the home map. Very clean fight from Anvil there. There's a lot of AI manipulation that you gotta end up doing based on your position, but super smooth. And just damage counting, to be honest. Mont about to get his first sword. Feels good. So this is probably, I think, is this the first instance of chest storage we've seen? You mean bomb push? Uh, bomb, sorry, bomb push storage, you are correct. 14 bombs can make this a little scary, especially with the mini yeah. around. Um, so yeah, if you jump slash on a chest, you can use a bomb to kind of push you off and then get storage. Um, it's a little tricky, and this one in particular is really annoying because the mini, the mini ones just keep coming, um, and you often want to like target and kind of figure out your position. So, Advo choosing to reset the mini blends. Not a bad idea. I'm pretty sure as long as the spotlights don't see you, they don't spawn. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I'd like to point out both of our runners uh, do have their Wind Waker on Y, so they are both uh, correct. Um, if you don't have your Wind Waker on Y, what are you doing with your life? I'm uh, pretty sure I put Wind Waker on X. Sorry. Yeah, no. I don't. I will never understand that. I mean, really, Sorry. the person who's correct is Wind Waker on Z, and that's, I think, just Chanjo. I think only Chanjo. No, that's Elena, too. Oh, Elena does it, too? Okay. Elena does oh. it too, and I tease her about it all the time. Ooh, that hurts. The good news is, though, that uh, we still have storage. It's still pretty fast to get up. It's not really that big of a deal, but uh, never fun. So yeah, chest storage uh, lets you do Forsaken Fortress climb very quickly. No, I keep my sail on Z. Z just seems chaotic. This is uh, one of the great debates that we have had a couple of times. Uh, I think we just had a conversation the other day where we started memeing about what if we put Wind Waker on B, and eventually we ended up with like keys on X and other <laughs> stuff. Claire, Claire started it, and oh, the conversation was so funny. That's funny. Um, you always had telescope on Z even if I never used it. I'm hoping we find telescope this run. Telescope That's the one meme, meme item I always grab, because I, I like the telescope. My favorite location I've ever found telescope was top of headstone. Yeah, me too, me too. That was... I think that we were probably playing that scene together. That mm -hmm. was so funny. I think that was the bi-weekly. Oh, you might have been right. That might have been the bi-weekly. Alright, so we're about to see uh, how interesting Helmrock fight gets when you abuse storage to store the cutscene. You can get storage here and then move during the cutscene to get yourself down below. And that lets you kind of um, kind of beat the crap out of Helmrock King's AI. 
is a bit of a setup to get in the right spot. Like Advo opts for the five back. One Looks one. like Advo does the Tanjo setup. I I always opt for the two backflips side top, um, but not very good at it. So honestly, I opt for just uh, like messing it up. That's usually what happens to me. Very clean. Landed in the perfect place. Good job, but Advo. This isn't quite over yet. Um, sometimes Helmrock King's AI just doesn't cooperate. Hey, there we go. All right. So from here, it should be clean. You can kind of just keep using Hammer. And this makes this fight 10 million times faster. Yeah, this fight goes from being like minutes to a minute. Very, Less than, yeah. Very clean, too. This was a pretty good adv uh, FF for Advo. I think the only thing that kind of went wrong was one climb up to uh, Humrock, and that was very quick to recover from. So. <laughs> Poor pigeon. <laughs> Poor pigeon. No, we don't like Big, beer, bird, big bird around here. So if that's Big Bird, is Ganon Oscar the Grouch? Mm. And only who's Elmo? Jibun, only if Jabun is Cookie Monster. <laughs> so Jabun is Cookie Monster. Who's Elmo? Who's Elmo? King of Red Lions. Oh my god, yes! There we go, we figured it out. Baloo is Baloo. also a oh. really good one. I think Baloo makes more sense. Baloo is pretty good. Alright, so at this point, we are on the hunt for Iron Boots. Um, looks like Advo going to save Grandma. Can we get uh, a Cookie mon Monster model where the uh, the boomerang is just a giant cookie? Iron boots mod check. It's true. You, we don't technically require. No, we don't. We re we don't. No, we don't technically require iron boots. It's just a lot nicer. Well, how much can you do inside of Wind Temple without them? I'm pretty sure you can use clips to do all of it, right? Oh, no, we do? Okay, my bad. There is... Yeah. Yeah, boots are uh, hard yeah, required. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure they were hard required. Oh, so Advo about Last to do Big Pig? Room. That's the one I forgot, Quiver. You're right. Yeah, you can... The switch at the end. Very, very correct. My bad. So at that point, you may as well just keep looking for iron boots. Mm -hmm. We are going to see a pig yeet. Everyone get your yeets in chat ready. Yeet! Is Elijah in chat? We need him to know that you can throw it somewhere other than behind the island. <laughs> Poor do, uh... Oh, no. It scrolled. According to... Okay, never mind. I'm not going to freaking read it because my chat keeps deciding to scroll. <laughs> Getting some sweet grandma soup. I am forever going to stick with the, seer with the theory that the soup is alcoholic. I don't understand the theory. Would, would you like me to enlighten you? Uh, is it appropriate for the channel? <laughs> That's fine. No, it's fine. Um, okay. um, Chateau Romani in Majora's Mask mm -hmm. is alcoholic. And that gives you infinite magic. And soup pretty much does the same thing. Mm, you have to dupe it, though. Also, yes, mail quest. Uh, Advo Ooh. Ooh, iron boots on grandma mail. Thank you, grandma. I'll check for notes to mom right before getting notes to mom from grandma. <laughs> Alright, time for some yeets. 
But anyways, that is my theory. That's fair. I feel like I would interpret it as like an And I will stick blanket. with it. That's probably more friendly. Let's let's go with that. I'm I'm imagining grandma's like, oh you want some grandma soup? And meanwhile she's just like showing monster energy. Sword on big pig. Also, why after The amount of times I've seen sword on big pig in the last week. Oh, hey, big sword. It is just, it's wild to me how quickly we've gone from no swords to a level 3 sword. In 15 minutes. Technically, at least logically, one of those swords was behind bait mail. But we or bait pail, bait peg. Uh, but we almost always choose to use fire and ice arrows. Lights on, no tomorrow. All we need is one oh more my song. God. And one more shard. Or one more song, one more sword. I was a little confused when you said song, yeah. yeah I just Grand I don't know how to speak. The lights. It's very nice to get lights early, especially right before Wind Temple. There's uh, a couple. Well, there's at least one room you almost always use it in. No, two, actually. I would use it in tall and mini. Uh, I was going to check Rat Sub and Top of Headstone. Um, I'm curious as to if Advo will check Fire Mountain before going into Win uh, Wind Temple. No, you got it all wrong, Panda. Didn't Grandma didn't steal Grapple and Light Arrows. She was just holding on to them for you. It's like when your parents make a uh, savings account for you. Saving bond. A savings bond, yeah. She was just keeping them until Link got out of college. Getting to go to Wind Temple would be very big. You were right, Cold Quiver. You, you are very correct. Although I still think Wind Temple is okay for speed. I would rather Wind Temple than Tot G every time. I disagree. <laughs> but I love Tot G. I do not like Tower of the Cutscenes. I'm sorry. Tot G is my favorite dungeon, so. Yeah, fair enough. There's some fun tricks in Tot G. We'll see Mont doing his FF now. It's not a crazy gamble. We are going to see top of headstone. I'm hoping for a meme item. It's always my favorite thing to find on top of headstone. Um, we don't know what was on uh, Phantom Ganon. Ooh. Oh, poor Mont. I, I feel that pain, though. The amount of times that I have done exactly that. Oh, it's a treasure chart. It's not even interesting. Actually, it was or a treasure chart. Or chart. Okay, it's useless. Uh, that's all that matters. Nothing important, no swords or bows. Yeah, I, I don't remember it being anything big. Oh, so yeah, Advo is doing Fire Mountain. See, to be fair, I don't do the setup that Mont does. I usually just kind of go for it. Oh, I always, um, if I have Leaf, I always set my, um, my wind to that direction. I, I just Leaf over. Yes, in, in these settings, Triforce shards are worthless because we just have five Triforce shards in the world somewhere and three of them on the three required dungeons. There are other settings for the randomizer where they're required, but in these ones, you just don't need them. That's true, it could have been the, uh, the Tingle statue. Mmm. I have not looked at inventory. If he would check... This is where I would keep my Tingle statues. If I had any! Gold Quiver, just... Just trying to chat, track, and Monty's... Or, uh, Edvo's not making it easy. Yeah, he'll probably see the screen when he save warps. 
Or Checking three. is a time loss. Also, pretty clean climb on Fire Mountain. I've fallen down before and it feels bad. Is the Pizza Heart. Alright, off to Wind Temple. Was not a Tingle statue. Shame. Rip Phantom Yana. What was that statue? Which statue? Uh, the Tingle one? The Tingle statue? Yeah, there are um, five of them in the seed. And when you get all five, you can go to Tingle Island and speak to Ankle. And uh, there's an item. Tingle sword in MSC leading to last sword. You've never seen them before? There are five Tingle statues in the game, and when you get all five, you can go over to Tingle Island, um, and Tingle, uh, Tingle's brother will give you 50 rupees per um, statue, and then another item on top of that. I think that by in the vanilla game, Tingle statues are yeah special chests that require Tingle Tuner bombs to make them appear, uh, and you have to know the placement, so it's... Not something that the average player stumbled across. It's it's usually something that, yeah, you kind of looked up or a friend told you. Yeah, because you need, um, like, you need Tingle Tuner Bombs, so you need a GBA and a link. I actually had one of those when I was a kid, which is weird to think about. True, yeah, there's a couple of times where we'll, we'll mod things with the rando, and it's usually to open up more opportunities and tricks. I didn't even know that was how that works. I... At this gotta, point, I've never play played vanilla. vanilla just for the meme. <laughs> You've gotta play it, it's a good game. No, I agree that it's a good game. It's just, if I play it, then... I can't say that I've never played it before. I can't remember what their status is in HD. I know the Tingle Tuner is removed in HD, but I don't remember if they're removed or if they just made it behind bombs. The Tingle Chest stay, so it, in uh, HD they just like open up with bombs. I guess so. Okay. Also, uh, completely missed talking about tricks there. Evo got spring storage, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, yes. Spring yeah. storage. Not the hardest trick, but also not the easiest. It's uh, it's confusing to learn. It, it helps a lot to have someone teach you it. But basically, if you equip iron boots, or sorry, if you stand on the very edge of a spring, uh, do a perfect turnaround, equip iron boots, um, equip the hook shot, but don't hold down the button, just kind of tap it to go into aim. And then you go into your inventory and remove iron boots from your selected items. Um, you can hookshot the tree, and until you bring the camera to look at the um, spring again, the spring like jump animation doesn't play. So we can use that to skip pressing the button in the car there, and I think it can be used in some other places, but I don't really see it used anywhere else. Yeah, that's the yeah. only place I really see it. We're also seeing Mont Dew Bird. Oh, Ooh. oh, that's rough. So that is an instance of Big Bird not playing nicely. Um, Mont. He got stuck in the yeah, wall. Got really unlucky, and uh, yeah, Home Rock King just decided like not today. Although I gotta admit, I after this pod, I need to go back and get a screenshot of that because there's something very like hello there energy about how Rock can just there. take me out of the wall. It's very good. 
pinging at runners, and all of a sudden, Adva's just like, hello there. <laughs> Haley's like, hello there. Haley doesn't hello. Haley just, like, shows up in race time. Go. Mm, Haley used to be a lot more. When's the run back? When's the run back? True, true, true enough. True enough. Um, Compass. Also, yeah, good good note is uh, Advil is doing Wind God's Aria less route. Um, <laughs> AKA Macarlis. Yeah, you really, if you have uh, the items you need to do Wind God Aria skips, um, really, you only need Makar for like the middle room once and the first room once, right? Meaning he'll probably get bomb push here. Yep. Yep. Oh, very good storage too. Nice first try. first try. So with that, you can kind of just climb up here and then uh, sort of just fall down. And uh, next thing you know, look at that. We're in the big key room. And we, we do, do have, have light arrows for this. <laughs> we do have to remember to void here. Because otherwise leaving this room, uh, I believe you can soft walk. I didn't and, know that. Yeah, and you can't save warp because you have... Or, no, you can. You can save warp, I think. Because oh, you... The item's still technically loaded, I think. You're right. The item's still loaded. You cannot save warp. You're correct. My brain just got confused. <laughs> when in doubt, never save warp. <laughs> That's my coach, Pog. You know, Elena. Uh, oh, okay. It took me like t like 30 seconds to realize what Mana was talking about. That's pretty hilarious considering you're organizing that event. Hey, you're organizing it too. Yeah, but I picked up on it. <laughs> Are we allowed to talk about that? Because it's not technically related. I, I don't think uh, we should use the SR time for that. Okay. I didn't think so. Yeah. Um... So anyways, moving along, uh, <laughs> on your note, by oh, the way... Oh, where did Adva find a shard? Uh, big key room. I've been watching Mont this, like, entire time. <laughs> um, Mont did kill Burp. Yeah, it's true. Just one more sword, and then it's go Vanilla mode. sword? It vanilla could be sword? vanilla sword. It's not yet out of logic. It's only out of logic until we find the sword, to be honest. Oh, I wonder if Atho is going for the jump slash strat. This strat looks so cool. Mm, we're going to top floor first, which fair enough. This room is super clean if done correctly. It's also very tricky to do correctly. Very smooth so but far. Why very... would Advo have any issues? <laughs> sure. That was sure. so clean. That was so clean though. That is incredibly tricky because you need to get the quick spin timing perfectly. If you mess up even once, the Armo statues are going to be in awkward positions and you just like can't really do it. Big key. Also a good looking fight from Mont on Phantom Ganon. Staying hydrated. Uh, Self-care percent, everyone. I'm going to take a sip of water and do the same. Ooh, and go there's our last word. Go <laughs> mode. So Mott doesn't have to check anything else now at this point. Mott can just go fight Goma or go fight, go, go fight Mulgara and uh, go fight Ganon. Like, that's it. Also, a huge awesome. thank you to our wonderful trackers. Indeed, yes. Thank you. Thank you again. And, uh, and uh, make go sure you go follow our runners. That's not the right one, is it? What is I the think, command? I think that is the right one. I well, it's not Papa Ma uh, but either way, go follow Mont and Advo. For sure. It's, both, it both is very... Take it? Okay. Yeah, 
both very good, very good runners. Uh, highly recommend giving them a follow. There we go. Thank you, Crystal. Montgol1 and Advocate underscore SSB. Yeah, and there are some weebs commentating at the moment, but I hope you don't mind that. I'm not a weeb. I mean, uh, my name is Tomomo Dachi, but I'm not a weeb. <laughs> to be honest, every time I hear, like, your full name, I just think of Tamagotchi. Everyone does. That is, uh, not unheard of. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, meaning you're not original, Pixel. Go with it. I never um... tried to be original. <laughs> Um, you do you have, have to feed, feed in water, water, Momo, too. <laughs> that is, that is very true. Koala knows a lot about that. Yeah. Especially when I'm trying to learn tricks. I'm like, I need water. Mm. I chug so much water when I'm trying to learn tricks. So, I think we've kind of glanced over a couple of things that were going on, but for now, we have Cat Jam. Good leaf pumps by, uh, Mont. Cat Jam! Cat Jam time? Surprise. Everyone put Cat Jam in the chat or your band. Okay. Surprised to see, uh, Advil using soup here because this is a tick boss. So it doesn't really save time. Maybe it might it makes... be for the babies. Oh yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Because they are annoying. Very. A very clean slash person. Okay, this is gonna be. Uh, a very easy sub two for Adam. Uh, Mott's gonna have access to Wind Temple very shortly here. Advil almost getting the uh, second hook shot, second hook shot. It's a tight window. Indeed. As a kid, I didn't know that you could hook shot Mogera out of the air. So I just like waited for this day to be over. Very clean fight. Unfortunately, clean no more cat jams. Well, no more cat jams until Mon gets there. Which won't be that long. Of course. I believe we all did. Yeah. But it didn't feel great. <laughs> There's a bunch of things in the, in uh, playing randomizers that I've learned that I've been like, what? You can do that? It's absolutely bonkers. The thing I like about Wind Waker Rando in our racing settings is that there's there are so many glitches allowed. When you get to, like, Majora's Mask Rando and Ocarina of Time Rando, there's not a lot allowed that you can do. Um... There, admittedly, there are a lot of glitches in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask that just completely break the game. Yeah. Wind Waker is, is pretty broken, but it's not as broken as they are. Also, we do have another piggy coming up. Yeah, Equip Swap. I can, like, there are a couple tricks where I'm like, yeah, that, that should be banned. But... There's kind of a uh, an unofficial, I wouldn't say it's a rule as well, but like we don't like settings that um, I guess require would require super swimming as well, because we don't want to have anyone have health risks. So super swimming is more of like an optional strat you can do, but if a setting were to require it to even be competitive, we'd be a little monkey ass about that. Also, no super swims. That's true. We didn't I see think... a single super swim this race, which is... Yeah, I don't think we saw any, because we didn't see Iowit. We didn't see um, Rat Sub. We, we didn't see any super swims. Granted, there wasn't a lot of times where it called for it, but I don't know if either of these runners like doing them. 
Sigma or not, so. Fair enough. Avo going to take out Barrier now. You know what they say, it's not over till it's over, but getting into Hyrule is, is pretty huge, and our runners are both some very confident players, so. I'm expecting that it will go well for Avo. Also, did Advo full clear? Did Advo full clear? That like... means our last Tingle statue is in Hyrule, right? Missed ankle. That's, that's true. Oh, oh, it could have been in Wind Temple, you're yeah, right. That's right. It could have been in, in Wind Temple, very true. So, like, other than ankle, full clear overworld. Mott delivering his note to mom, about to get his light arrows. That's right, because his last sword was uh, top of Hubroom. Yeah, I think he you're right. He skipped, he skipped uh, Spike Room, he skipped Mini Boss, he skipped Kill All Enemies in Tall Basement. Yeah, there's quite a few checks. We did see a, uh, a fun little strat there from Advil, where you can sidle into the door and... Saves a few it, frames. It saves frames. It's kind of silly, and it is possible to mess it up and lose those frames. I have done so. <laughs> I find stair climb is surprisingly fun, and I think it's just because if you can do stair climb really cleanly, it feels so cool. It also just feels really nice to be able to light arrow everything. For sure, for sure. Nice. Ooh, very quick. That can be a hard shot to line up, but that was incredibly fast. Very well done from Admiral. Oh, so when did they get a quiver? Great question. I don't remember. Maybe they um. stored it? Monch doesn't have it on his tracker. So, who knows? Ooh, close shot. Stored and left alcove, maybe? Probably. Probably. Nice shot, Advo. PG1 is usually the last great Ooh. challenge of the race. Advo is making this look incredibly easy, though. Trust me, these snipes are very hard. But Advo, Advo made it look Lean like Lean PG-1. Very good PG-1. Chances for some excitement in the race. We've got Crypt Shots and we've got Tash Shots. If you have never seen a Crypt Shot, they're quite a treat. Same with a Tash Shot. It's basically getting double or even triple hits with the bow. He's setting up for it. Oh, I think he got Ooh. it. No, he just missed it. It was very oh, close, Oh, really? Though. It's hard yeah. to tell sometimes. It was very close. You do have another attempt at it, because you can still get a double. But Crypt Shots are pretty hype. Basically, if you stuff yourself kind of in the corner here, then you can cancel the particle effects. Very close. You can... Yeah, I think so, I too. I think, I think it hit the wall. Um, you can kind of get the particle effects to hit the body and get unloaded faster, and that lets you pull your bow faster. We might also see Taz shots. 
Uh, but they are very difficult. <laughs> I think you were right, Randomite. He was aiming slightly to the right. I think so. Oh, it looks like we got a spinner. Uh, head slash. I think I, I, think I knew Advo was a spinner, but I just like forgot. I go for bombs. I go for bombs too. Ooh. Advo was setting up for tasks there. I'm also very bad at uh, quick spins. Very good resource management there. I didn't even notice that Advo was low on mana, but it was instantly. He was mana? Up, or on mana? Magic? <laughs> Magic? Oh, which name are we saying? I don't even know. Bombs! All strats are a little gross. <laughs> Man. Mana? <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what it is. Oh, people are gonna make fun of me for the rest of the day now, huh? Ah, oh, the rest of the week. Ooh, no, I'm nice gonna, I'm gonna time! Own it. It's mana from now on. This is I very good it, yeah. time. It, they, <laughs> it's kind of like those uh, those uh, fire keys on uh, Mont's screen. <laughs> Blue mana. The 420 entry is very pog. Also, Advo doing fast rope climb. Uh, if you hold R and mash A and B, you can basically just constantly let go and grab the rope over and over again. Um, the rhythm changes as you go up. It's surprisingly difficult. I really can't do it, but very well done. Nice and grapple do, skip. Do we get a slide? Uh, oh. Very close on the pog slide. Very close um, on the pog slide. That's hard slide. to do unbuffered. Mm -hmm. Also, not yeah. losing his soup so he won't have to take it again. Now let's see how Ganon goes. This is usually a pretty fast fight. Getting three quick spins off there. Yeah, already in second phase. So clean first phase. That was like 15 seconds? Less than that. I will say, Avro is very good at quick spinning. Avro is very Amazing good. phase two. Yeah, and we may be calling time. And looks like that's a GG, everyone. GG's Advo. GG. 1458. Very, very well played. Uh, I can see Advo hanging out in the waiting room. Um. Hello. Welcome on in, Advo. Welcome. GG's. Thank you. Thank you. Well uh, what did you think of the seed? Honestly, I like that seed. Even though four swords were locked behind Forbidden Woods and Forbidden Woods was forced swordless. That was pretty fun, honestly. You played it very well. Very, very well, for sure. It must have felt great to get that full clear paw print. Yeah, definitely. Always a good time. Yeah. We're just watching uh, Monte basically just entered Wind Temple. Um, I see. Had a bit of bad luck uh, with uh, one reset of Helmrock King. Oh, but that always yeah, that's always the worst. It it always mm -hmm. feels bad. You can't you just can't do anything about it though. But True. Very very good. Um, yeah, no, it was it was an interesting seed to watch. There was a little bit of baby rage in chat at the beginning. You guys were getting a lot of great items really fast, yeah. but yeah, that's why the why the seed was, honestly wasn't that bad because like the early game was pretty easy, so the the swords weren't really an issue. Yeah, for sure. But I learned uh, quite a few new tricks watching you today. <laughs> yeah, for example, to... diamond step early with leaf. Yeah, that's a cute little strat. Storage in the golf hall, which is kind of weird sometimes. Mm -hmm. That was a now very you're... quick storage at uh, at golf, by the way. I was really surprised how fast you got that because that's pretty hard. Yeah, I, I, my storages are pretty nice, except for in for second fortress, sadly. 
Yeah, but to be fair, getting storage with the mini blends coming at you is so annoying. Yeah, I hate it as well. Mm. Yeah. And then failed the entry into the boss loading zone because I hit the ceiling mm. when I jump slashed. True, true. Yeah. But That's it was not a the very easiest quick thing to do, back. though. I should have just leafed in. No, you, uh, you're correct. Very. That was that was a very good run. That was a one forty fifty eight. Actually, I just realized. Like, yeah, definitely very good, very good time. Oh, well, but like skipping ha basically half of Wind Temple, especially like the last two rooms, saves a lot of time. And then for Bin Woods and for Sing Fortress, are just fast in general. Mm -hmm. uh, do you typically go for the uh, the top of the hub room? Um, area first before doing like spike room and all that. Yeah, this is what I usually do. Because yeah. like, like usually I do the top, then do the middle of hub room, then spike, and then mini boss. Well, the armos room was incredibly clean. So <laughs> I was yeah, I've seen that vary from player to player. Yeah, I, I struggle oh, yeah. with that room. It's. If you mess yeah. up once, it's like completely out the window, so. Yeah, it's kind of tricky sometimes. Mm -hmm. And your uh, songstone skip. True. Oh, uh, where did you get Quiver at? at? In the left alcove there. Okay, so yeah, we were thinking it was probably left alcove storage, but we just weren't sure. Um, I'm just curious as to where that last Tingle statue was. I have no idea. Maybe Light Maze. <laughs> that's that's what I was thinking. It's possible. It's possible. Uh, yeah, because you pretty much full cleared overworld other than ankle, right? Yeah. No, yeah. Nothing left. Could be Master Sword Chamber. Yeah. Could be Master Sword Chamber. Could be yeah. anywhere. In logic. Mm -hmm. It's always nice ha having to not check ankle. In eight locations. It, it can be in eight different locations. No, in... In six. Yeah, it was left alcove. Uh, we just saw him want to get it. So, yeah. Uh, do we have any questions in the chat for Advo? I think that was the first PG in a while where it didn't hit a single crit. <laughs> you were very close on all your shots. The first was too far to the right, and I just hit the body and not mm -hmm. the the sphere i don't even remember what was wrong in the second one yeah i'd have to watch the vod back how'd you feel about your bow placements <laughs> the first bow was very nice of course on windfall the second was a little bit of troll in cabana but honestly not too bad could have been worse places mm-hmm and the third bow was, which, it was male, I believe. Uh, no to mom. Yeah, I believe. no to mom. Or it was Letter from Errol, one of those two. I think Letter from Errol was a sword. Yeah, Letter from Errol was a sword. No, and you... grandma, grandma gave no to mom, I think. I think so. Yeah, we were, I believe We so. were laughing a bit at how quickly we went from, like, an hour of no sword to all swords, full bow. Yeah, well, it no, it wasn't an hour. It was 59 minutes. You're right. It was <laughs> exactly 59 minutes. There was some hope in the chat uh, <laughs> that we'd go an hour without sword, but then you uh, you disappointed some folks, I suppose. By going <laughs> Arrow's mill was iron boots, yep. <laughs> too fast. How about those bombs in Dawif? Good point. <laughs> oh, that was, that was the most terrible thing. That was the, the thing I hated about the seed. But like, it, it, for me, it, it was okay because I do the submarine early if I do cliff. And I basically committed, at this point, I committed to doing the row clip method up to Bird's Peak because I, like I know some people won't wait for a jump slash item. And usually that's a good strat because it's way safer. But at that point, I was like, I don't want to clear anything else. So I just go and do it and roll clip up. Mm -hmm. But I didn't Makes have sense. to. Yeah, bombs and leaf on that sub is kind of, kind of cringe. Little, little cringe, little cringe. 
And you got your onion rings pretty early too. True. True. I don't rem even remember where they were. I think they were on um was it on six May? eye? Or, oh six eye, you're right. It was on six eye. Oh, I yeah. see. Cause you rotted that in pretty quickly. Yeah, I've also I think I've just noticed um Mont hasn't I don't think Mont has gotten one of the shards, right? So Mont is actually checking most of Wind Temple. No, Mont got the shard. Yeah, he, he just has, needs he, that last sword. Oh, he last has a sword. shard. The shard wasn't the shard wasn't the key chest. You're right, you're right. Yeah, My brain um, is turned off, apparently. If he goes to the top first, he'll get um, his sword in bingo mode. I didn't even get to do the key skip. Unfortunately. Not today. Um, very nice sub two for you, though, Advo. You've been getting those very consistently lately. Yeah, 140 is definitely a very good time. Yeah. Oh, very, very good. Can complain. I'm curious, what's, uh, I mean, obviously, rando, so bearing in mind, uh, what's your PB? My PB, what, what is it? 133.58 or something? Wait, let me check. So this is very close to that, then, yeah. Uh, Celestial Panda has a question for you, Advo. It's, uh, when will you pull out that sub one hour? I don't know about that one. <laughs> that would have to be quite the seed. Yeah, my PP is 135.28. Okay, so yeah, this is a very great run. Yeah, there wasn't anything too trolly besides that leaf and bombs. Leaf bombs, yeah. Yeah, the rest was pretty nice. It's pretty good. Also, all sorts of fire and ice locked. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we were laughing about that. That was just that was just funny. <laughs> one thirty-five. Oh wait, the, was the was the one on? Maybe the one on arrow wasn't. Uh, not technically. Get, not technically. What did you get off of Orca Mail again? Hookshot. Oh, and Hookshot locked Command Melody. Yeah. And then you got Bait Bag at uh, Needle Rock Cave, right? So it technically kind of locked itself. Yeah, that was Mail was pretty... all around loaded, yeah. That was pretty funny, the Bait Bag placement. Yeah, and yeah. Mail was really loaded. No kidding. And Montgol is in go mode. He just found his sword at top of Hub Room. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see Mont finishing up... Uh... Less than 15 minutes, I would say, between Mulgara and then all of... Uh, le maybe less than that, yeah. Oh, speaking of Mulgara, Advo, your Mulgara was very clean. It was good. Yeah, nothing bad happening, usually. The one thing I can't could go better is if you get the snipe on the tongue when Mulgara goes back in the sand. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think I've only gotten that once. I saw you go for that. It was it looked close to me, but the timing for I that think, seems. Yeah, I think I was too high. Mm. Advo, how did that self care treat you? <laughs> I guess pretty good, considering the time I got. True. True. Did you get some sleep last night, or this morning, I should say? Six and a half hours, not not too bad for my standards. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Well, I guess that uh, that little go to bed uh, wish. Uh, let's see if it brought you good luck. Ooh, Ooh Mont. Mont. Mont just uh, just missing. That's always the, wor that the worst bad. feeling. It's it feels so bad. I can't do that trick. It's it is honest, so hard for me. Once you learn it, I find that like 
you stop thinking about it and you just do it almost every time. But I think uh, nah, for me, learning um, it took me a while. Like I know how it works. I just, Oof. I just, Wait. I just, I just can't do it. <laughs> what? If he released too early there. Uh, Cristo asked, "What is practice?" <laughs> I don't. I don't uh, know the answer to that one. Imagine practicing. Could Isn't one forty pretty fast? One forty is very fast. One forty is ridiculously fast for for these settings. Yeah. Like, what is the record for season four settings? One twenty eight fifty eight or something. Yeah, it's around there. Just just from like two days ago. I think it was. Yeah, I Elijah, think was... Elijah was gymnast. Oh, okay, my bad. I was thinking of a casual. Yeah, um, because that was... Was that an FFDRC for Ben Woods? I think I it was. I, I think so, yeah. Let's see Wolfer, the exact time. Woofer consistently puts up great times. It's not really surprising, uh... Yeah, Elijah got a 128.39 in that seed. Absolutely bonkers. Yeah, Wolfer had a 129 previously. Yeah, that was very funny with two go mode dungeons. I really need to watch that VOD. The one from Wolfer is a while ago. I think that was his first match in the tourney. Also, yes, we are back in Cat Jam territory. Cat Jam! Do you ever just bob your head to the Cat Jam? That's what you gotta do. Your Cat Jam's not real if you don't do that. I do Monko's... it even when I'm playing. Monko's saving the frames over me using Boomerang. Does it really save that much time? No, it just saves like, like I said, a few frames or something. Which doesn't really save anything if you have to equip it. If you have to equip it, it yeah, I don't think it saves anything. Well, I had moments where I missed the quick spin with the sword, which loses like a second or something then. Can't... If I d don't realize it. Oh, uh, we don't have... We don't have audio for Cat Jam, or is, is Crystal just wanting us to sing for fun? Maybe Mongol's hey, audio is very low. I think uh, it's either... No, we do. It's just becoming a meme. Uh, what do you want us to sing? Hello? Uh, sing a uh, Mulgara theme. Did Momo, you want to... Yeah. I ran out of breath very quickly there. Oh, I will leave that to you too here. <laughs> oh, come on, Admo. <laughs> That's completely fair. I was in choir, so, you know. I gave you the cat jam on my end of stream. I feel like we, that counts. You know what? You, you gave us the cat jam. Oh, good stuff. I would be a okay if that uh, became a consistent meme. So Mont finishing up uh, Mulgara. Probably gonna be getting through this run quickly. Let's see about the high roll. Always, still always a struggle, no matter how many times you do it. Mm. Yeah, your PG one was was pretty clean though. It was like, so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> the first two shots were like literally all luck. The, the, okay, the first one was okay. That 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 it hit was pretty lucky, but like my the timing was okay, but just like I hit like almost didn't hit. And the second one was all luck. Oh. It looks it looked professional. Let's put it that way. Oh, uh, so Advo, we were joking uh, around a little bit, but what goes through your head while you're in the um? Crescent sub. I was. I think I was th just thinking about if I what I'm doing next. I don't even remember what I did next, but like, 
I don't pay attention to the sub at that point. <laughs> you mean you don't you don't go on TikTok while you're in that sub? Not really, no. <laughs> I don't even have TikTok. We we were chatting a little bit and mom was like, What do you do? And I was like, I don't know, I think a little bit about like what I'm gonna root next and stuff, and she was like, I go on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, man. It's just so funny. Uh, yeah, Crystal was just mentioning, by the way, is that, uh, you know, obviously Avo has put up just an incredible time here, but Mont putting up, like, a low two, this is not an easy time to get. This requires, like, a lot of skill and game knowledge and, like, just good play. So Yeah, very true. Mont is putting up a great time here. Um, I've been playing randos for about two months, and I am just... Now starting to get sub threes. Uh, my PB is about two fifty, but I don't really count that because it it's it was literally the most baby seed in the world. <laughs> like I think all six checks on Windfall had, had something. <laughs> I mean, we um, count the Elijah's time of one twenty eight, and that was a very much a baby seed as well. That rolled yeah, that... together very nicely. <laughs> Yeah, but the different the difference is that Elijah is like a god. <laughs> yeah. True. If he doesn't eat the pig behind outset. That's true, yes. <laughs> there was no no pigs eated behind outset today. And nobody pulled a Claire either, um, while going into uh Seven Armos room in Wind Temple. I don't think I'm familiar with the Claire bit. So, um, on the little um, platform right before you um, enter the door, um, there is that like single piece of grass that always has magic in it. Mm -hmm. One time, uh, Claire like went uh, like turned around after landing, cut the grass, and didn't grab the magic. So that's pulling at Claire. Ooh. Um, I I do that almost every single time now, just because I find it funny. Yeah. I have enough magic. <laughs> Mont go with some beams <laughs> watching Darknut die. Uh, F for Darknut. Oh, man. Good stuff. Crystal. Elijah Jim didn't take my advice that eating Big Pig behind the outside gives you go mode and takes you straight to Ganon. Wow, hmm, I don't I mean, know about that one. You're like the, the seer. I feel like... You know, they really missed out. See, but Crystal, that's technically a barrier skip. <laughs> that is technically a barrier skip. That's not allowed. And Phantom <laughs> Ganon skip. Mm -hmm. Phantom Ganon, Puppet Ganon. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I don't think we got a lot of meme items in the seed. We didn't know. We were kind of hoping for something, but I don't really think. I don't really think anything big came up. The the um Bokoblin seed was probably the biggest one I saw. True, the Bokobawa seed, yeah. The Bokobawa seed, yeah. Invalid seed, run it back. <laughs> Well, I mean, this is uh, game one, so we will be seeing a game two after this between both of these runners. Um, when is that? I... Tomorrow Tomorrow at the same time. Tomorrow at the same time. All right. Is tomorrow Monday? Tomorrow is yes. Monday. Damn, I'll be in class. I'll be able to Stitch. watch. But I am going to be working. Well, good luck there, Adbo. Thank you. Um, yes, Adva, how long have you been playing? Uh... Since late March, I believe. I think late March. That's a pretty fast improvement. So I guess so, yeah. Very good times for... What is that, like... Five months? Ooh, Maybe so close to the opening shot. Four, mo four months, I believe. Yeah, very, very fast improvement. So we're just seeing uh, Mont fire. Very close shots by Mont oh. Goldman, not quite hitting. Yeah. 
Puppet Ganon can control you too. I really hate when Puppet Ganon uh, PG1 gets like right up in your face. They didn't hit. I think it went just past the time. Yeah, I think it was too early. Early, too early. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you miss like the first few shots, you're like, God, this is already terrible, and it just gets worse and worse every time. Oh yeah, Th this happens like every time uh, I get to PG. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's the first shot, I can immediately cycle into like second and third really quickly, but it's getting that first shot that like takes forever. I gotta work on it. Yeah, I don't really um, snipe too much on PG1, just because I'm not good at it yet, so... Yeah, it requires a lot of practice. Um, yeah. I think I've gotten three snipes once, otherwise I really only land one. Oh my god, the look on Lance's face just then when that snipe missed. The water on the floor do be kind of nasty today. We got to re it's getting really unfortunate. Yeah. Now PG is like up in his face, which is also the it, worst. It, it sucks. Uh, oh, and we, we do see Mont in the waiting room now, though. So maybe should we pull Mont in? Have a bit of a chat there. Hello! Hey, Mont. GG's. 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 I finished. That's something at least. <laughs> you, I mean, you no, you clearly, did pretty well. Yeah, we obviously haven't seen uh, your Ganon yet, but you you clearly put up a really good time. And I, I tried my best. Uh, when that PG one happens, please, uh, everyone, say it with me. I'll I'll say something, and it's gonna be right on the money. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, god. But yeah, that, that was quite the scene. Not a bad one. I, I was hoping for more places where I could go, like some th somewhere completely unexpected, just to to take uh, Advo off guard. But uh, sadly, <laughs> it was pretty linear. <laughs> I mean, there was a there was a brief moment where we were like, "What if Last Tingle Statue is a Master Sword Chamber and Ankle has a sword?" It, yeah, it might have been. It might it, have been. <laughs> it might have been, but then then Wind Temple happened. Yeah. Yes, low two hour times are incredibly good times. So both of these runners, absolutely incredible. Make sure you go and check out Monko and Advocate. Follow them. They are awesome. Oh, oh wait, I'm already on PG2. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> PG1 Mont was kind of a montage of how close can you be to shooting the tail without shooting it? <laughs> yeah, that was really yeah. unfortunate. I missed quite a few at that point, but hey, it was fun. <laughs> Seeing the uh, the red tail is kind of messing with me a little bit. <laughs> I, it, it was even worse for me because it looked green and just didn't show up for me at all. You you feel that arrow shot, Crystal? I feel that arrow shot too. Yeah. Papa, like most I'm of the run. Oh! Up. At least one of us one of us got it. Yeah. Good crap. I, I had a few things at the end that made me happy. One other thing that made me really happy is that at the beginning of the seed, I entered from the woods without arrows, and I managed to bullshit my way out. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I, I killed Machula with bombs. I I saw that actually, and at first we were wondering like, oh, why why is Mont going for bombs with Mothula? And then on the on the uh, mini boss, oh. Yeah, and then later we looked at your inventory, and I was like, oh no, you're out of arrows. Yeah, I entered the dungeon with zero arrows, and it was like, okay, I I think I can bullshit my way out. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did you how did you feel about the forest swordless forbidden woods? Uh, it wasn't too bad, actually. It's one of those dungeons that I don't mind doing without a sword, but it's better with, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. There's a few little things that were a little funky, like getting magic along the way. <laughs> yeah, I stopped at I stopped at before hole and tree and like in the bulb and got magic from there. Oh yeah, I feel you. I I got magic there also. Uh, you, you know, in the the tall room before, uh, before going to yeah, that room. Yeah, in the middle, I guess. I I got I got some in the bulb 
I, instead of just ah, flying see. to the entrance, I, I I took the bulb to get some height and then went that way. <laughs> ah, I see. Ah, yeah. Oh, I'm a... man. That, that, that was quite something, though. That was quite something. <laughs> it was an interesting seed, for sure. Uh, I felt I felt a little bad because we saw both sides of the paw print going this race where uh, Advo got to just one shrimp. Oh, like, nice pog slide, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No idea how I did it. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Advo got to one trip pod print, and we saw you triple dip it, and we were like, oof. Yeah, that... Uh, when, I, when I got the grapple and I said, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it was like right after you went to. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I did uh, that and then I uh, I, I went to um, to outset, found the, uh, the grapple and was like, oh man, that could have been better. <laughs> it's how it happens sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I really I, like putting off pop print for very long oh yes it, it, it kind of is the meta but my season three brain just doesn't compute <laughs> that yet mm. also the first the first trip i did i tried to find the sidle spot didn't find it for like 12 seconds it was like okay this is a sign from the gods go away <laughs> this is from the gods i forget what was enough folder anyways to be honest uh i'll be honest with you uh, dry pendant oh okay well so. I, I was just about to say wasn't there anything in paw print I think that was a Triforce Shard on right boulder. Yeah, there yeah. Was, that was a Triforce Shard. But other than that, I think it was empty. A cutscene cancel. And uh, GG, a 209. GG. 209.58? Yeah, GG's it's a very, It's a very good time. I, I think Definitely. it could have done better, but next time maybe. Next time. We do have another <laughs> yeah. one. <laughs> true. Yeah. true. You got another one tomorrow, uh, same time, I've heard. And then let's exactly. shoot for game three. Ooh. 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 We'll see about that one. I, I, I mean, we, I scheduled it with Advo because I wanted to be, like, optimistic. <laughs> 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 and uh, I'll keep being optimistic. Let's go. <laughs> nah, Mott, you're cracked, dude. Seriously. Oh, man. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, the... Uh, uh, the, uh, the Softlock on the bird wasn't too too good. Decided after that to at least go for the meme and beat uh, Phantom Ganon with that with the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> what did Phantom Ganon? What did Phantom Ganon have? I never uh, found a beetle shard. Beetle oh. shard. Mm. Oh, is that why you pulled out the bottle? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Yep, I, I pulled out the bottle to instead of using my sword, I used that. <laughs> we saw, we saw tennis. a couple, we saw a couple good memes. I also saw you, you watch the dark knot, dark knot suicide. I always do that one. One of my favorites. <laughs> if I lose by two seconds for that, so be it. <laughs> I think a lot, a lot of runners have something. That no, like, Mont, you played very, very well. Fun. Um, how did you feel about your bow locations? I might need a refresher on where they were. <laughs> there was one on Tot. There was one in the... I think it was the bottom of Cabana. Might have been the top. Yeah, the, the bottom. Um, bottom. and then... One on Note to Mom. Yeah, one on Note to Mom. Oh, yeah, you're, that, that's right. I, I know the second one made me pop off a little because I was in Cabana and was like, Oh my god, this changes the routes! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. And it, like you just go to Ice Ring right away, and I had Angular still. Felt really good for that section. <laughs> we were laughing a bit too at the bait bag location being like not. No, it was hard locked behind Fire and Ice actually, which is it just was. really really <laughs> ironic for Needlepoint. Yeah, the, it, it, it's always it's always sad when another one of the items to complete on island is behind the other one because you know you. You had only one way to go about it. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's like that, and usually you would have have to leave and come back just to get bait. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Like a pair. Yeah. 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 How about all those F and I walk sort uh, being locked behind FW? Yeah. How did you feel about that? I mean, w w once the the, the Fort of the Woods is done without the sword, it doesn't feel too bad to get them. But it it, it was about an hour before we got anything, <laughs> at least mm -hmm. on my side. 
It's about was, an hour for both of you, yeah. I was very surprised that there wasn't a single sword in Forbidden Woods. <laughs> oh yeah, what did you think of, Michael? What did you think of bombs into the leaf? Oh my god. <laughs> I hated <laughs> it. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, but like it, it is one of the worst spots. <laughs> It's, it's a very toxic seed. Like, like Five Star like already toxic. sucks as a location, and then you give give us bombs and leave there. Yeah. Oh. Five Star I... is the like only reason I don't really like subs that much. It, it's very out of the way, extremely out of the way. It's so yeah. far. It's so it's... far. I think it... I was watching uh, the bi-weekly back the other day, and they were talking about how it was like, yeah, basically if you go go past. Five star sub, you're gonna end up in Phantom Hourglass. That's like how far off the map it is. <laughs> like the, the, the only time, it's the only island in the game that it doesn't make sense to like go a quadrant away from it by sailing. That's how far the submarine is. Mm hmm. Because it's in the like very right bottom hand corner. Mm -hmm. And I try to route it in when I'm like going to Cliff Platt, but even then, it takes so long. That's oh yeah, the... one. yeah. I, I still kind of sad that I never got to see Ankle today. One of my favorite characters in this game. <laughs> yeah, we just at least, da at least David Junior is. Oh boy, that David Junior. <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like Teal Seed for the day was a little more merciful than some other recent ones we've seen. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do each he bombless. <laughs> I had to, I had like a I had like a phase of where I, I was practicing and I rolled I think three leafless earth temple seeds in a row. Like maybe there was there, there maybe there was one like without earth temple at all in the middle, but I had three er leafless earth temples. Oh god! Oh. But it, this scene was pretty merciful, especially compared to the last one I played, which I rolled myself and had fire and ice arrows inside of. I tarot chests. <laughs> Very merciful compared to that. <laughs> I haven't had a double dip Hyrule seat yet. Uh, they, they are they are quite something. <laughs> that I've, much. I've, I've rolled had one. A, I've rolled a logical one. I didn't actually have to do it, but there was a delivery bag in Light Arrow Maze and Cabana was hard required. Yep. Uh, so, so if you didn't know Cabana's good. But when you when you have your fire arrows there, it just means that you gotta find your light arrows in overworld and then come back. <laughs> hmm. it's, it's just a little little shame. But yeah, we we, we got another tomorrow, Advo. Are you ready for that? <laughs> Definitely. I'm, I'm not. excited. <laughs> I am too, but I'm not. <laughs> I, I might have to do like a very long stream of me just doing PG one. <laughs> Oh, and uh, almost uh, almost forgot to mention, but uh, I believe that it is a one day post belated birthday for you, Montgol. Uh, two days actually. Two days, my bad. Two days. Happy yeah. belated uh, birthday. Hello. Happy belated birthday, Dan. Yeah. Happy belated birthday. Thank you, everyone. Still feeling old. It's good. <laughs> That's the life. Uh, All right. Birthday man. <laughs> birthday man. Well, if nobody else has any uh, more questions for our runners here, anyone in the chat? Big question. The art editing one. Everything is is legal. You know, you can ask anything. <laughs> oh, oh, what is your question? Question, okay. Crystal. Why are y'all so cute? Mont, why are you so cute? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I got the new air cuts this last time. Th thank you, Crystal. Thank you, everyone. It's true that everyone is so cute <laughs> in this community. You just want to imitate Crystal here. What was that, Adva? We just want to imitate Crystal here. Oh, I got it. <laughs> we do have a very cute community. It's very sweet. If, we we uh, absolutely do. Yo. Uh, I saw a couple people in chat mentioning uh, being interested in 
Wind Waker Randomizer. Um, there is a Wind Waker Randomizer Discord, and then we also have a little race Discord, which is kind of more specialized to us sort of having these competitive races and casual races. If you are interested in any of those, uh, I'd highly recommend looking it up. We're very welcoming, and uh, yeah, we just kind of want to have fun and play Wind Waker. That's what it is all about, really. Playing Wind Waker and having fun while doing it. Mm -hmm. Going fast is like way down the list, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Once you start, like, getting into the range of sub three times, you feel like a god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, the, the first time you go through a wall in this game, you just let go of your mortal ties and become an ascendant person. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, the, like the first time you like get storage and you go like and you go to Bird's Peak and you just like phase through the cage. Oh, that's the best feeling. Bird's Peak with with a pair is so annoying. Oh. I've uh, had to yeah. do it once in a race actually because um there was just like, like nothing to put um like cliff plat in in logic like no sword, no bow, no like hookshot, no grapple. Um, and uh, it was locked behind Bird's Peak. There's a hidden tech with the with with the birds, the seagulls. If you play uh, the song Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins, you go like 30 person <laughs> faster. It's oh beautiful. my god! <laughs> At least in my mind, we do. <laughs> oh, I see. Cool. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I noticed that you you've joined us. Um, I'm sure you have big announcements to share. No, no, never big, never big announcements from a mere mortal such as myself. I heard you wrapping up, so I decided to jump in, but then we ended up with the second round, so I just shut up and listened. <laughs> so, GG's to Advo and Mont. Everyone, make sure to go follow them, show them some love, and then yeah, thank I'll you for our out... wonderful trackers as well. Yeah, Panda yeah, and GG to, GG to everyone that was involved in this race. Thank you for restreaming that one. Very nice yeah, of you. Big shout outs to all of the volunteers. Yeah, all wonderful people. Go up, follow all of them. Even Teal, let's go. <laughs> Even Teal. <laughs> no. Even Teal. no, no, if you're going to follow me, you're better off following ZSR. But I appreciate the shout out and very much. Uh, thank you, too, for putting on a wonderful <laughs> show. Uh, on behalf of ZSR, thank you to our commentators, TB Pixel and Jamie. Thank you to our trackers, Gold Quiver and Panda. It was much appreciated for everyone joining in. We do truly appreciate the volunteers because you guys make this happen. Uh, with that being said, what have we got going on later today? Uh, we've got a couple of A Link to the Past randomizer cross keys going on at 6.30 and 9 o'clock Eastern tonight. And potentially a Zelda 2 randomizer. Unfortunately, you two are it for Wind Waker currently. That's so sad. Always enjoy a good Wind Waker run. But in just about a minute or so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump on over to ZSR2, where they've got the Minish Cap Randomizer weekly race going on. And we're going to see if we can't bother the crap out of them. Sound good? Yeah, sounds, sounds good. Sounds, sounds amazing. Good. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. It's been an absolute blast. Yeah, Bye, everyone. everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.